Subhash Chandra Bose was born into a wealthy and large Bengali family in Orissa during the British Raj. His father sent him to London to study for Indian civil service exam. Bose cracked the exam with just six months of preparation. He was provided a job after the exam, but he refused it as he didn't want to work for the British when his motherland was suffering. Returning to India in 1921, Bose joined the nationalist movement led by Gandhi in the Indian National Congress. Because of his magnetic charisma, Bose became Congress President in 1938. After the election in 1939, differences arose between him and the Congress leaders. After the large majority of the Congress Working Committee members resigned in protest, Bose resigned as President and came out of Congress. He didn't agree with Gandhi's idea of non-violence because he believed that Indians should fight and snatch freedom from the British instead of requesting them. During the time of the Second World War, British were on the verge of losing their country and colonies. Netaji saw this as an opportunity and went on to ask help from Japan. Japan had 60,000 British Raj soldiers as captive then, out of which 40,000 were Indians. They set up an army with the 40,000 Indian soldiers and they were called Azad in Forge or International Army. Netaji took control of them in 1943. By his iconic speeches, he brought back patriotism in this army. While they were fighting the British near Impal, shocking news arose that Netaji passed away in a plane crash. The former British Prime Minister Clement Attlee admitted that Netaji's army was a key factor for granting independence for India and not the non violent movement led by Gandhi and other Congress leaders. Netaji's death is a mystery till now. Some say he was in Russia and some say disguised as Gumnami Baba. The seed of mystery grew in 1956 when the Indian government established the Netaji Inquiry Committee. The committee's report concluded the fact that Netaji died during the crash. However, Netaji's brother Suresh Bose refused to sign this report, indicating that this was a cover up and blamed several political leaders, including Jawaharlal Nehru, for it. In 1966, Suresh Bose claimed that Netaji is all set to make a return. Although it didn't happen, Several reports of Netaji sightings was doing rounds then. Keeping one question alive in public consciousness, was Netaji alive after independence? Thank you for watching the video, like the video and subscribe to the channel.